Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Earlier today, Zooks hosted a community engagement event at Sightglass Coffee in San Francisco to show off their custom vehicle. When I arrived at the beginning of the event, a crowd had already gathered. They were waiting in line to sit in the custom vehicle. And as far as I know, this is the first time the general public, not employees, press, or other VIPs, have been allowed inside. Stepping inside, the Zooks vehicle has a Spartan interior with hard plastic seats and a fairly firm backrest. It's clearly designed to make cleaning easier, although the Zooks team was quite protective at this event, not allowing food or beverages inside the car. Above the passenger's head, there are two dome lights and an emergency button labeled with both illuminated text and braille. In the middle, there's a large beam with a fisheye camera for interior monitoring, and I believe this beam also holds the airbags. More on those later. Other amenities include wireless charging and USB-C ports for each passenger. All four of them worked. Each passenger also has a small tablet where they can see the car's route and control the music and temperature. Let's go through each of these functions. The map was not working in this demo. All of the music playback controls worked. I was able to play, pause, change the volume, and even switch to the next track. It seemed to be locked to some kind of ambient playlist, and I couldn't figure out how to change that. Next up, temperature controls. It's not clear to me whether changing the fan speed or anything else on this screen actually did anything. As you can see, the user interface updates, but shortly after changing the fan speed, a warning icon appears, and the fan speed eventually gets reset to the high setting. Temperature is controlled by selecting a color along the left side of the screen. The pullover button doesn't appear to do anything. A Zooks representative clarified that this is because the car was in demo mode. The help button also doesn't really do anything in this demo. When I press call support, nothing happens. And this part of the user interface was unusually slow to respond for some reason. Oh, and one more thing. A passenger airbag off indicator light appeared intermittently on the screen. Here's the standard airbag warning sticker. And right next to it, there's an emergency release lever for the door. Now let's step outside. These marker lights are actually white in real life, but because they flicker in my video, we can tell that they're RGB lights, probably because the vehicle is bi-directional and the color needs to change if the vehicle changes direction. There's also a camera and a speaker on this door. Now moving over to the front or the back of the vehicle, they have a speaker array that spans the width of the vehicle and some rather unique looking headlights or tail lights. This radiator here is kind of ugly, uh, not to mention dirty, and I really wonder why they left it exposed. You've got the classic Zooks corner LiDARs, and here's a close-up of the suspension arms. It seems pretty standard to me, though I'm no expert. Brake calipers. There's not much to see underneath except some foam panels. And now, going around on the other side of the vehicle, the light bar is more clearly visible here. Just like the other lights, it's white in real life. Zooks also brought their Toyota Highlander-based test vehicle, which has a very similar sensor arrangement. I haven't been able to get close-up shots of these in the past, so here you go. The top of the vehicle is empty except for some screws. And along the side, we have several microphones and a fisheye camera. Coming around to the front, there is a speaker array, which is similar to the one on the custom vehicle. And I think this shiny black square is hiding a thermal camera. Down here uh, on each corner, this is probably a radar. No idea why they have it mounted so low. And now peeking through the windshield, there's the computer screen that the Zooks operator uses to monitor the system. This is looking through the passenger window. We can see some of the controls. And here's a spy shot of their list of hashtags. This is a standard phraseology that safety operators can use to describe events that are happening around the vehicle for later review. Now is time to step inside and get my free coffee. I think Zooks rented out this whole coffee shop, or at least everyone there was affiliated with the event somehow. To get my free beverage, I had to speak with a member of the Zooks PR team, uh, which is what this protester from the Teamsters is doing right now. 
and also fill out a survey about the event. They had flyers and stickers, and the flyers were both in English and Chinese, a nice touch. Throughout the coffee shop, the Teamsters also left flyers of their own. The last exhibit was an iPad with an app that showed a 3D model of the Zook's custom vehicle. This is just a bunch of pretty animations, so there's not a ton to say here. I'll just let the clips play, and I am going to keep the audio muted because I accidentally recorded someone's personal conversation. Oops. All right, well, that's all I have on Zooks for now. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of these animations.